Defense Secretary Ajay Kumar on the arrivals of drones in India. Sir, you just heard the Prime Minister speak and soon the skies over India will be full of drones. But what about security issues? Uh, will there be a red zone where drones will not be allowed over specific military installations? So the whole modern warfare is changing. We have seen this in the Russia-Ukraine war. We saw this in the Azerbaijan-Armenia conflict. Today, in warfare, more than ever before, drones are being used. And we are seeing different kind of drones, a huge variety of drones. Small drones, big drones, huge drones, hails, precision drones, who can just target a single individual also. And we have to be prepared for these new uh, technological changes all the time. As drones are growing, so are the counter drone solutions are growing. And we are you know, very happy that last year the government of India decided to change the drone policy, opened this whole sector for uh, startups and industry, and a huge revolution has taken place ever since then. The pace and speed at which our startups are today coming into this area is actually astounding not only us in India but over the world. Our swarm companies are today, US and other foreign countries are tying up with them. So the point I'm making is this is the new technology and we are doing very well to be able to cope up with the fast advancement in the technology. <clears throat> the important thing, sir, is the fact that there have been attacks by drones on defense installations in Jammu and Kashmir once or twice. Is India becoming ready to counter these attacks by drones from across the line of control? Absolutely. And government is today, you know, under IDEX, under Make2, we have programs where new technologies are coming. And like I said before, you know, these technologies are coming faster than we thought they would uh, in months, not even in years. And therefore, I think we are like we have seen, we are today like we have seen the revolution in the digital sector, digital payment sector, you know, how we have galloped and leapfrogged many other nations in drone, I think. Today we are seeing a similar scenario. We are going to be better prepared and a provider of drone technology to the world, counter drone technology to the world, rather than being a buyer. Finally, sir, drones will come to the armed forces. Will they go to the army, the air force or navy or will it be to everyone, whoever requires it? Oh, absolutely. To ever, is it? You cannot visualize a security force today who is not capable of, uh, you know, having its own drone requirements met. The requirements may vary from each force to force, and I'm not even talking here of armed forces, paramilitary forces, state police forces, and let me go beyond. Uh, even the civil uh, implementing agencies, whether it is, uh, you know, construction area. Today, Honorable Prime Minister spoke about how agriculture is getting changed with the use of drones. I do not think this is going, there is going to be any area which is going to remain untouched with the usage of drone. Thank you very much, Defence Secretary.